Hi there viewers, I'm the Extraordinary Tourist and welcome to day 25 of the Inktober Challenge. On your screen there you can see the official rules for Inktober, followed by my unofficial rules for digital artists that I've given myself uh, just to make my experience of using digital inks a little closer to the traditional experience. In case you're wondering what my digital inks are, I'm using my Pablo Coast 22 pen display monitor, which I've teamed with a copy of Clip Studio Paint EX, and within that I'm trying to stick to using just the eraser pencil and pen tools. Uh, today's drawing is uh, inspired by a cartoon character that I created way back in 1989 called uh, Blake Morgan. Uh, Blake Morgan was a kind of space pirate type character, probably loosely based on Han Solo but uh, a little more uh, of an assassin outlaw type bounty hunter guy more than a smuggler. Uh, but nevertheless I was a and solo fan, so that's probably a lot of the influence for the character. Uh, it was also my attempt at trying to not only get into drawing science fiction type comics, but also uh, to draw in a more uh, grown up style that was perhaps still my own style, but uh, looking a little less cartoony and a little more like uh, realistic human shaped characters, uh, but in the end, I, I, even though I started writing a script for a full story of this character, I only ever completed one strip uh, featuring him, it was just like a small uh, joke strip, and like which you can see on your screen there. Um, and the basic premise was that in this strip, Blake Morgan was looking for some alien character that he was trying to collect a bounty on, and at the same time, he had some mysterious assassin type character uh, trying to take him out, but always failing. And that was the general premise of the Blake Morgan story and that was going to be happening in the uh, largest story that I started to write. Uh, this particular scene that you, you can see me drawing is actually my attempt to illustrate a scene from uh, the story that I never sort of illustrated or finished in any way, uh, which depicted Blake Morgan sort of trying to fly his spaceship but his at the same time he's being accosted by some female alien type character that has a crush on him and although it's not shown in this image he also had the same shadowy assassin figure in the background somewhere on his ship uh, sort of biding their time waiting things out uh, because according to the the script, the assassin couldn't actually uh, take Blake Morgan out and kill him while they were uh, travelling on his ship because the assassin themselves wouldn't be able to fly the ship. So effectively if they killed him they would leave him stranded, themselves stranded in space. So, uh, But anyway, that's what this particular illustration is. I will say the story made no description of the female alien character so I had no idea what kind of character that was meant to look like in terms of being a female alien and the one I'm drawing in this particular illustration is kind of what happens when you don't really have any idea what you're drawing and you don't do any kind of character studies to try and come up with something uh, you just sort of 
do a quick Google search to get some kind of inspiration for what a female alien might look like, but not really. And then you just um, draw some weird head onto a female body. I don't really know sort of what I was thinking in terms of this drawing. And overall, from that perspective, it's probably something of a failure in terms of uh, depicting what I set out to uh, draw and you'll notice like uh, the female character right from the start went through quite a few changes in position and just general looks uh, because the script is actually describes this scene as with um, Blake Morgan trying to get his ship uh, going into light speed, so he's meant to be sitting at the control panel, and uh, this female alien's meant to jump up right in front of him in, in the way of the controls somehow and block his view of the uh, windows to the outside of his spaceship. But, uh, I found that a bit hard to sort of depict in this particular illustration because of the limited time I had and uh, also I don't have any description of what his actual spaceship would look like uh, beyond like I do have a few spaceship designs but none of them were interiors so uh, I didn't really know what to draw and initially I tried putting this character sort of sitting on top of the like the dash area of the control panel, that's why her legs were sort of in a crouching position originally, but uh, that didn't really work out because I couldn't fit the control panel in. So I just scrapped that all together. Uh, so there you go, I mean, I was fairly happy with how Blake Morgan himself, there sitting in the chair, came out. Uh, do not like that alien character at all. Probably if I was going to try this again I'd spend some time trying to come up with a better female alien character. Uh, but that's just what I ended up with. Uh, the line work's not too bad on this, it's a bit choppy in places, but overall okay. It's I found this was sort of taking me a bit too long so I didn't end up shading it probably as much as I would have otherwise but there you go nevertheless I hope you've enjoyed watching me uh, draw this particular illustration um, until the next one thanks for watching